You think about watches? Uh, I don't know. Oh, Hickok 45 here. Welcome to the range. That's where we are. Welcome, I'm John. <laughs> How you doing? Can you guys <laughs> tell that we're at the range? It's called a shooting. Well, it's actually not a range. It's just my property. Well, it's, it's a range. <laughs> it's a place to shoot, put it that way. You get a lot of questions about that. but Yeah. Yeah, we're just here today, and normally we don't have these fake cigars uh, on air. Yeah. But today we do because we're kind of just commemorating the, the, the billion viewers served. Is that right? Right. <laughs> we have <laughs> served up uh, a billion videos. Well, not a billion videos. A billion times someone has watched one of our videos. Yeah, not even a billion viewers, but a billion views. Right. Right. So yeah. most of those are from 10 Outdoors 9, right? Yeah, he uh, or spent a lot of, Plinkster. Yeah, he spent a lot of time on the computer, you know. And... Plinkster doesn't have anything to do, so what we've done for the last eight or nine years is uh, pay him to just sit and watch our videos. And uh, I, we told him, look, you're under contract till you watch at least close to a billion times, okay? I think we already had maybe 100,000 before yeah. we paid him, started paying him. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just wanted to commemorate and mainly thank, thank you all because yeah. uh, you know, whoever thought that doing guns, you know, and firearms would end up with a billion views ever. Yeah, I never would have thought a gun channel could do something like that. You know, yeah, we, we always, weird. you know, when we, of course, you guys have heard the story how we started a million times, but it's just kind of, we didn't have a lot of expectations, of course, when we started. We were just doing and it for none. fun, yeah. you know, and everything. And when we even, once we started thinking more about it, we we even thought that it would be kind of limited, you know, yeah. because, it, because it is guns. And it is a niche, of course. I mean, we're not going to have, you know, we're not going to be a 50 million subscriber YouTube channel, no matter how crazy our videos are. No. Uh, it's just not going to happen. But um, we, I, we, we were couldn't. very surprised by just how, how big our you know, um, the, the, the gun audience right. was in general just across yeah. all of YouTube. You know. Well, yeah, that was, and, and that, boy, that's all such a great. We don't, you know, we you know, pat ourselves on the back. It's it's really great that so many people uh, just uh, watch all the gun channels and gun videos, and so many people discovered the internet. Right. Back in the early days, we uh, yeah, well, ten years ago, you know, we when we started, there were still a lot of people that weren't obviously using YouTube or even using the internet. No even people that shoot a lot and that if it had been uh i don't know more common they would have been watching if they had if there'd been more stuff on it maybe i guess what right. i'm trying to say that the uh, people 10 years ago would have been watching gun videos but there weren't that many and there weren't very many right. good ones you know i still remember in the early days you know i'd have to really kind of explain to people what it was that we were doing you know because you know for so long youtube was just kind of known for a place to have basically music videos and like funny cat videos yeah. You know, it was like this online funniest home videos and ways for uh, bands and stuff to kind of promote themselves or have, or you know, already successful bands and put out their videos and different things like that. And it wasn't like, um, at least it wasn't known. I think from the beginning there was like, like people like Nut and Fancy, for example. I mean, he started like 2006 with a channel that was like, like a, a a real like content channel it wasn't just yeah. silly stuff you know he did real stuff and yeah. we yeah i didn't even know about it i didn't even know about it when we got started and discovered yeah. him later yeah. on so that kind of stuff started you know from the beginning of youtube of course there are people who had that idea to do that kind of thing in different avenues uh, but in the early days when we were getting started though most people weren't even aware of that you know yeah, so like we were, us or me I, I yeah didn't, we I don't weren't think i knew about nothing fancy for another I don't know, six months or a year into our doing it, or maybe you told me. About I, it, I discovered. I remember when I first discovered him. It was that summer. I was talking about that first summer when we really mm -hmm. got going, which would have been the summer of I think 2009, like when we did some of those early like long range videos mm -hmm. with the Glocks and stuff. Like that was the the first time where we really were like, hey, let's try to make this a thing, you know? Yeah. And that was when I discovered him, and he was. That was the first time I noticed that like, oh, someone else is doing this too, and at the time <laughs> we had like. I think a thousand or maybe two thousand subscribers, and he had twenty nine thousand. Yeah, and I was just like, "What? That was yeah. insane!" You know? Yeah, it was like the, the who's the female singer that's so unbelievable? Uh, was country? I can't remember. But you know, it's 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 in the stratosphere. You know, when you get there's people who do something and are pretty good at, it, and then there's people who, whoa, they're the Michael Jordan, you know, or the yeah. at least publicity wise. But then, but for a long time, there just yeah. weren't you know, many people doing it. It was like us and him, you mm -hmm. know, and then you had a few other guys like uh, like Such was around in the early days, uh, Such Double Zero. Um, I remember him from really early on. 
and there was uh, Cutlery Lover. He was like oh, yeah. one of the guys in our community. There was uh, Jeff and Heather from the Jeff 32 something or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you remember them. Um, Root beer, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably leaving out someone, but there was just like a real small group of us in the early, in the very early, yeah. early days, and uh, it, was, it was an interesting, interesting, well, fun time. But then, the it, lighter. and as no, I've I'll said, it, it uh, oh, there's, and it, as I've said before, it's probably a good thing that that we were not aware of them. Uh, we might have been tempted to emulate them or what somebody else was doing. You know, we right. might have looked at the five or six people we were aware of, or three or four, or they were doing anything like this, and okay, that's good. And that's yeah, I think we let's just do that. Yeah, I like that way, but we'll do. We, you know, we might have been just a, a mix of what was already being done. We'd been trying to maybe edit videos like crazy. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, it's hard to yeah, it's hard to know. But, know. but it was just you know, it's it's. I've mentioned this a bunch of times. It's like you know, I've always. Um, you know, I've been fascinated by different things, whether it's music or sports or whatever, whenever, especially with music, when something is like on the ground level, you know, um, of, of, a, of a new trend starting, you know, whether it's rock and roll or heavy metal or grunge or punk or whatever it is that, that you're into uh, or rap, you know, it's, it's neat, like the people who are involved in the beginning of it, you know, who mm -hmm. are, there's always that little group at the very beginning, you know, that kind of kind of got the whole thing going and it's kind of fun you know that i feel like you know our name can be thrown into that you know into that category because there's just a few of us at the beginning a few of us are stupid enough to do something that you know is kind of different i was that yeah. way with computer different things projects and two or three different times on the bleeding edge and you, you pay a price for it uh but uh, but I was, we just started out though for for fun and uh and, and that's normally and, and that's normally you know people who who are on the yeah. bleeding edge, like you say? I feel like normally that's what it is. Yeah, because it's it, genuine interest. Yeah, no one, no one does something um, off the beaten path necessarily to, for marketing or to make money. You know, yeah, because nobody's there has done that yet. Yeah, exactly. You know, so usually yeah. it's like I just, you know, I don't like what else I, what other things I'm saying. So I want to, I want to do my own idea of what. Yeah, you know? it's. I don't. I can't even relate to it. It's so different now when people are getting into doing this sort of thing because they're looking you know they've had years and years looking at everybody's videos of all sorts or whatever and, and figuring out where they can fit what they could do and what they want to do and how they could make money maybe or whatever it is right. you know and like that was not even a part of the universe for us right it's just hey let's just get the camera out uh, since we're doing this anyway for fun and and again if you haven't heard the story it was uh i guess nine months to a year before I guess maybe, we're really just admitting our stupidity, I guess, or ignorance. We <laughs> well, even knew there was a penny to be made, right? I mean, I, I remember well, I got the email yeah. asking if we wanted to be partners and share some revenue for the ads. And I uh, remember I, we met for lunch. We were, had lunch scheduled anyway, or dinner, and uh, I told you about that email. And, and we said, well, yeah, I guess. Why not? We'd make five bucks a month or something, you know, buy a yeah. box of ammo. We, 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 so there was no motivation or even a thought that any revenue could ever come from yeah. making these videos. Well, yeah. I'd, I'd heard creators, they weren't called that back then, just guys on YouTube, <laughs> uh, before, you know, when I was still in college, I, I remember I, there was this, it's funny, there was this channel that I, I remember, one, it was one of the first YouTube channels, I think, that I even, like, stumbled on that was what you would call a channel that was like a guy who was putting up some sort of consistent content. And it was at the time, because I was thinking about joining the military when I was in college, I didn't, of course, but I was thinking about it, and uh, that counts, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, um, you know, other other than when I say a channel, I mean versus like just random cat videos or collections of random things. And it was this guy who was in the military. I don't know if he was like an overseas veteran or not, but he was t talking about like stories about being in the military and basic training and that, that kind of stuff. And that was interesting to me because I was thinking about joining. I wanted to hear what it was like and stuff. And I remember him making some comments about getting like pennies here and there, and he sort of made fun of it, like it was nothing really? basically huh. at that time. So I, I so I kind of was somewhat aware of it, but but there was no like, oh, this is like a way to make a living like that. That didn't even it wasn't even possible, plausible probably until like yeah. what maybe 2010 or 11. There was maybe some people doing that. The biggest yeah, channels. Know, I wasn't even aware. That is, so. well, people put up stupid videos, and we did a couple of those. Well, the, the reason I have this firearm out here, well, for one reason, I'm never without a cold single action within arm's reach, right? You can imagine that. 
So this was the video, the gun from the first video we posted uh, of the shooting the buffalo. You know, that one with all the dialogue, what I say? Uh, um, hey, a buffalo or yeah, something? Yeah, <laughs> he shot him five him. times and said that'll do it or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> then we, uh, we did a remake of it, didn't we? We did. So yeah. That was a long time ago, too. <laughs> yeah, but if you, yeah, if you see, search for the first video, the oldest video, 2008 or something? Seven, 2007. Seven. Yeah. It's this this Colt single action uh, shooting that old buffalo we still have. But, so the very first of that billion views was you know, people looking at that gun. Yeah, so it, it is interesting and, and uh, that, you know, it, it, it's such a great world we live in now where uh, the internet has all the negatives, of course, and the drama, but uh, to be able to put up a, a something that, you know, you're watching this and you're a Second Amendment supporter, but to, to, to have so many people that just randomly around the planet in this country, of course, too, can, uh, especially this country, can uh, just enjoy firearms and, and any, you know, the real world of firearms, not Hollywood world of firearms, and, and learn about them and uh, help, uh, hopefully, we provide information to help them even pick out a firearm, maybe, you know, even though we don't advise it, uh, other than point out the, what we like or don't like about them. but. You know, just the freedom of that is uh, just a different universe we're in now. You know, it's a great thing to, to think that that many people have tuned into us and other uh, firearms videos. If that doesn't help the Second Amendment, I don't know what does. Right. You know? I agree. Uh, yeah. I, I think um, just, just the simple exposure to responsible, normal firearms use and ownership um, is, is really important. I mean, this idea that uh, yeah. to help the Second Amendment, you've got to go on your videos and constantly be railing about it all the, of the time i mean that's good for rallying a a base that already is uh, mm -hmm. very pro second amendment getting them active you know to do things um this b won't leave me alone but i think that you know one of the most important factors that has i'm armed yeah. yeah one of the most important factors that has uh, given um, us success in some of these big battles is uh the mainstreamization is that a real word? <laughs> we'll make it one. Make mainstreamization. It yeah, right. the, the, the mainstreamization of, of firearms ownership that I think happened through a combination of uh, video games and the internet, uh, both of those things. Yeah. Uh, because like first person shooter video games were getting really popular, you know, like around like the mid 2000s. Uh, I mean, they existed before then, but they were even more getting really popular at that time. And then people were going to the internet uh, to learn about the real version of, of these guns. Mm -hmm. And they stumbled on videos, people like us and Nothing Fancy and all the other YouTube gun channels and, and things like that. And and by the time we had that really big battle in early of 2013, one of the biggest we've maybe have ever had, um, all of that had had really made a big difference. you know. And then, yeah. and then we survived that one. So then that made it even bigger difference because it was like all, all over the news, wall to wall news, you know, it was about they're trying to ban guns. And so, yeah. you know, people had to make a decision. So said so all that to say, you know, all of the internet content has, has played a big role in exposing people to, um, you know, responsible use and everything. Yeah, it has normal people shooting, uh, semi-normal people, because I've always said, uh, I mean, back before the, inter the internet, you know, I would make this, this comment and we all know it now, Unlike maybe golf or I don't know baseball or other other endeavors, I'll say whatever you want to call it, sport, hobby, endeavor, uh, pastime, whatever. Uh, you know, shooting by nature has to be done in a safe place, and it's usually away from the road. You know, except for here, you no, know, it's it's a it's off in the woods somewhere. It's off in the desert. It's where you can put a safe shooting range or indoors an indoor shooting range. And people go there specifically for that. What would it be like? Like going caving or something as somewhere where people aren't going to see you doing it, just driving down the interstate or right. you, rarely, or just driving down even a country road. They're not going. Oh, there's some more people over there shooting. Oh, yeah, there's some people shooting. That's it's it's a hidden sport by nature, and you know, and it is, especially in Hollywood, if you're I don't watch sitcoms and much of that, but generally speaking over the years if whatever your favorite show was your 30 minute show your hour show unless it was a western or a cop show or something you know they ignore it too you know nobody's someone might be coming home from the bowling alley before the drama of that episode starts but they're never coming home from a shooting range right and putting their guns away right or they're carrying a gun case so 
So it's just like this, the, I don't want to say it's all gun haters, but it's just, it's just hidden, you know, it's right. like not acknowledged. Right, and the, by the same way that, you know, the Hollywood and the film movie, uh, the film and movie industry, the, the film and TV industry and all that stuff has kind of uh, used that sort of casual exposure to make people more accepting of, of others that are different and everything like that. Yeah, you know, intentionally. That, right. Yeah, so they have that impact so, if they want to. So, you know, obviously they're not thinking about guns, you know. So we've been <laughs> able to kind of do, do that same thing, use that same philosophy, yeah. you know, through independent platforms and the internet and different things like that. That's right. That's right. I mean, think about it. If you search Glock or something on YouTube or the internet, just think of all the videos that are going to pop up and articles and you know it's all at our fingertips now so it's, it's been a great thing for freedom i think so i agree well but, these cigars uh, are great and again we uh we, we we can't talk without complimenting uh you all our viewers because as you know we talk too much right <laughs> we're not slick and uh you know you, a lot of you watch anyway so maybe a click away maybe but you watch anyway and uh, so, you know, it's a tribute to the fact that you have a genuine interest in firearms and you're willing to overlook the warts, right? <laughs> right. Warts, what warts? Because we, we enjoy just kind of doing it the way we do it. And uh, sometimes we do talk too much. Uh, but, uh, you know, in gun videos, we'll probably talk too much in this video. We'll probably yeah. talk more than shoot. <laughs> yeah. But we, you know, our compliments, our hats off are to you all because, uh, you know, it, I don't know how a B in views, how you could stand, you know, B in views, you know. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, so it's crazy. That's more than what? A million? That's a bigger number, right? It is. Okay. I don't it's know. like several, it's like quite a few million, I yeah, think. Yeah. yeah. A bunch of million. That's what a billion is. Okay. That's why I can't hide at a gas station anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's, why I have to quit going to, I won't say that. <laughs> no certain club now. Yeah. I have to behave myself in public yeah no we uh, we really do appreciate it uh, it's a, yeah. it's an amazing thing because it's a, as we here telling you again you know the the premise and how we started doing this and really how we keep doing it uh, because you know this this target array behind us here was here long before YouTube right yeah I grew up shooting on these yeah. targets back John there. could see this from his bedroom up there in the yep. next second floor of the log house and uh, you know, so this is just was kind of what we did. John sat there on that curb and shot the Uzi back when I had it. I remember the first shots of his 22. I got him when he was born and at these targets. So, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you think we'd be able to hit them by now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, that's why we brought the cigars out. You know, it's a special, yeah. it's, it's a special thing. You know, we, we don't make these milestone videos very, very often because yeah, it can be get a bit corny. Well, and I try always, to talk John out of you know, it, but we, you know, we, it's a billion. So well, that's it, a big number. He tells me. You know, yeah. So. The thing is, it's like, you know, you understand <laughs> when you create something, you're, you know, you're obviously going to be proud of it to a certain extent, you know, so you're going to want to talk about like, Oh, I hit mm -hmm. this new milestone or this new thing, you know, but, it, but, you know, for the most part of the viewers, they just want to see the videos. They don't care. So no, you know, we don't, don't care. want to talk about that stuff too much. But a billion, it's, you know, to us, it's a very big deal. Just like when we hit a million subscribers, it was a big deal. You know, this is a big deal. And it's kind of the last milestone in a way. It, it's probably yeah. kind of the last really big milestone that we're going to experience. Like the last one of these will do, unless we live to be 150 or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as far as like a stats related one, I mean, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll, if we've been doing this for 20 years, we'll have to make a 20 year video or something. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I don't think so. Uh, 25 years or something, but... Of course, but, we're just confusing everybody in Kentucky, talking about a billion. I mean, they're still trying to figure out how many zeros that is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, so, we got brought the good cigars. We got the, the, for those yeah. of you cigar people out there, we got Xeno Platinums. Except they're fake. You, they you got fake. these at the gas station down there on the corner. Yeah, ready mm -hmm. for the comments, but don't you know that smoking's bad for you? Life is bad for you. Yeah, life is living <laughs> is uh, terminal, but... Uh, yeah. Well, for those who don't know, we're not advocating, you know, uh, doing cigars even, but but they are right. more like a fine glass of wine, right. uh, a rolled hand rolled cigar like this. It's it's like you got you got drunkards, you got people that drink too much beer and all that, and you got people that have a glass of wine occasionally. Right. Uh, so that's kind of parallel to having a fine cigar. You don't want to inhale, okay? In case you didn't know, and uh, yeah, so it's not necessarily a, a health food or anything, but. But it's it's like having a fine glass of wine, okay. Right. Uh, and I'm all about like 
you know, you want to live carefully, eat, eat the best you can, but you know, no one gets out of life alive, as they say. Yeah. You know, so you gotta kind of enjoy That's a few right. things while you're here. You know. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. My brother didn't smoke, and my mom didn't smoke, and they're gone. And my dad did smoke; <laughs> he's gone. But uh, he he quit when he was 50 on his 50th birthday. Yeah. Well, I think he'd done a lot of damage before then. Maybe right. I don't know. Because you got everyone from uh, Keith Richards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. He's done everything. Yeah. To some someone who's like been a health nut their whole life, and they just get some they weird have disease a heart or attack or die yeah. at 40. Yeah. Or like, yeah, what are the athletes that you know the famous athletes of that you know over the years and died you know early and stuff like that so you just you know yeah so anyway we don't enough about us you know which is actually about you guys it wasn't about us we were giving real life advice because you are the ones that did it you are the ones that did it that watched us a billion times so don't blame us okay it wasn't our fault that you have such horrible taste yeah so what else john anything else important while we've got them while they're glued to their computer screen (laughs) or tv well um since I know we're going to put this video up pretty early, the uh, the pumpkin carving, you know, we do the pumpkin carving, you know, video every year and the pumpkin killing. Um, there's a pumpkin carving t-shirt, the first time ever we've ever done one of those, and uh, it's only going to be available in October. That's right. So, um, as you see this video, I guess you'll have like about a week or so if you want to snatch one of those up over at BunkerBranding.com. We do our, yeah. um, our merchandise now with Matt from Demolition Ranch, if you're not aware of that, so... You know, links and stuff are in the description, and yeah. you know, go to hickok45.com or you can go to bunkerbrain.com and find all that stuff. So. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, and again, the descriptions have everything. That's one of the nice things about YouTube. You have, you can change all the descriptions. You know, at one time, if you didn't know that, and we've got the links there to our website and to the Patreon account, just just everywhere. You know, we appreciate yeah. the you know all that support and our Patreon account. Yep. and just everywhere you know? yeah we don't really deserve it but we'll take it okay? right i'll give a shameless plug to my instagram because i've been um really getting into that lately i like i like instagram almost better than facebook now because it's, it's mm-hmm. less less noise you know it's more i feel like it's more content based than facebook you know it's more about photos and videos and you know things like that yeah um but of course there's the, at the real hook 45 on instagram and then um i have an instagram where i post a lot so, more. there's a lot on there i post yeah. pretty often but i uh like a lot of behind the scenes stuff you know photos of guns like we're out here shooting and things like that so you might get a glimpse of like something you we're tell me if you and, post anything of me naked over there okay don't you know. you'll ruin it if you do. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. but it's called it's john underscore hickok 45 so what that. was that we were learning about on, on YouTube, that uh, thing that's kind of like Facebook, YouTube? Uh, oh, it's just where you can post photos on YouTube if you want, yeah. What's it called? Uh, it's, well... It's, I was wondering if any of y'all were using it and if you thought that would be useful. I, I use Facebook, but if, if I, you know, post pictures, we go somewhere, and announcements sometimes, and things, and all of you don't use Facebook, but 600,000 of you do, although I don't think it gets to everybody. Yeah. Know, if, uh, we might try that YouTube... Uh, I haven't decided if I like it though, because like I get those in my feed sometimes. I'm like, oh, what's this? And it's like, oh, it's just a picture. What? I can't. It's not a video. You know, it's kind of. I don't know. It's kind of strange because you expect videos on YouTube, yeah. and then it's just like a still photo. It might be different though. It might. Maybe be, I'm old if, school. If it is know. kind of uh, like Facebook embedded in in YouTube, it might be better. I don't know. No, nah, because a lot of people hate. hate well, a lot of people hate YouTube. It's yeah. just not a better alternative right now. Right. Well, you know, the big reason, you know, you hear people talk about, especially these days, like, oh, I'm done with social media. I'm going to get off social media or I hate Facebook. You know, all of that is because of the political stuff. And what's what's funny about that, though, is people kind of do it to themselves. They'll complain about, you know, seeing too much political stuff. But it's like they're looking for it, you know, and they're just seeing the thing that they disagree with. Yeah. It's like if you're seeing anything political, like so, probably half of it is going to be something you don't agree with. Um, right. But but I also I get it too, and that's that is one of the reasons I kind of got to where I like Instagram better than Facebook because there's mm-hmm. less of that, you know. Yeah. But it's just our world, you know. Or we live in a world now where it's it's yeah. where everyone has politics on the front of their mind. Unfortunately, you know, it's not a sideline like it, I feel like it was more so in the past. You know, it's, oh yeah, it's kind of it's going to kind of been forced into part of everyone's identity almost, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. It is. It's a shame we're 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 getting more and more forced into our corners. I don't like that. 
uh, it's harder to be a like independent moderator, whatever you want to call it. It's just much more difficult because uh, be- because everybody's forced into their corner. And right. Somebody goes to Washington and and they claim they're going to be independent of either party. You know, right. they're probably not. You know, it's just really tough. Right. Uh, I, I try to do my best to separate people from yeah. their politics the be- best I can because <laughs> this is the way I look at it at least. So if I um, because you know because of, of doing uh, stand-up comedy and stuff and being out at open mics and different shows I'm around lots of different people who a lot of them don't agree with me politically on things especially guns and stuff you know so I'm around these people all the time kind of like you would be at work or something uh, around people who don't agree with you and I'm friends with some of these people that don't agree with me on maybe most things or all things um, and unless I just want to be an outcast or just constantly be a problem, you know, I find a way to relate, you know, <laughs> you are an outcast. and we're all doing a similar thing, you know, stand up comedy, sort of relate on that. So I've kind of, you know, developed, um, you know, at least I tr- I'll try, you know, to separate the politics from the person. And some people will say that that's really hard to do because this person might have an idea that if that idea were put into effect, it would negatively affect your life in a big way, like, let's say, banning guns. Let's say I have a friend that hates guns, right? Yeah. Which I probably do. So if I have a friend that hates guns, you might say, well, I'm not going to talk to that person or be friends with them because they're literally supporting, you know, my family not being protected, right? Which is a pretty extreme thing, and I, I get that. But also I look at it this way, that person doesn't have any more impact over that than anyone else. You know, or me even, you know, so like that person, that specific person is not going to be responsible for taking my guns away, you know, so I might as well just be friends with them if I like them and then still on my own, do my best to push my own agenda. That's well, just how I look at it. Yeah. That's probably better than just being hateful and all that it's because, you know, we, we actually affect people around us. If you hadn't noticed that, you know, and, uh, right. and people who are gun haters for an example, if they're around you or around me or John and we seem sensible, it's hard to seem sensible when you're not, but if we seem sensible and caring and uh, good, someone who's a good friend, you know, I don't know, maybe it sort of slowly changes their impression of gun owners because lots of times, as Gresham and a lot of people point out, it's a little bit of a negative, uh, I guess, attitude maybe, but a cynical attitude, but, but uh, you'll hear people talk about how gun banners and gun haters, they don't really hate the guns as much as they hate the people who own them. They don't like us owning them. They don't like those sorts of people right. who have firearms quite often. And I'm afraid that's probably true, you know. And uh, they, they have this narrative or this image of what a gun owner is like. And it's what the media has portrayed us as, uh, largely, I guess. And so we, we can break those stereotypes, maybe, you know. Yep, I agree. Because you're, you're definitely not going to... You know, change someone's mind if you're not hanging around them. Yeah. You know. And it, man, everybody you know probably just thinks differently on something. You know, what are you going to do? Have no friends? Right. There's probably one person in the world that thinks exactly like me or you, you know, everything. Exactly. I, you know, I think it's healthy to mix and mingle with people that have different, you know, different viewpoints and, and you know, and things like that. There are, of course, limits you know to that depending on what it is you know yeah and stuff but um yeah i don't think i want to hang out with a nazi you know <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> just because he's a nice guy seems nice has a good personality he thinks a whole group of people should be exterminated but you know he's a very but he nice helped me guy. paint the house you know <laughs> yeah he mows my grass for me <laughs> we like the same music yeah i think there's uh, there are limits oh, right man. but within reason yeah. i think it's good gosh yeah. before we go too long what else were we going to remind them of because I know they're all still with us right <laughs> yeah oh uh, man uh, yeah no, we were well again we appreciate y'all supporting everybody that supports us you know like buds you know we, we uh, that's been one of the speaking of a billion views and surviving for 10 years who knows if we'll be here next year with you know YouTube and everything uh, limiting ads on videos by the day you know and everything else but but uh, as long as we can stay up there but over the years, that's been one of the things we're, I don't know, say we're proud of, but we're really pleased with. We've been able to get some people, four or five, to, to help us uh, support the, our endeavors that do not uh, interfere at all and do not, uh, I was going to say, to interfere with uh, our objectivity, our right. independence. That, you know, I, I mean, some of it was just luck, right? But, but it's just, 
it's it's just marvelous. It could end tomorrow, but it's marvelous that that we can tell you what we think about this gun, give you our honest, I mean our really honest opinion, even if it's a brand new gun, uh, no matter who makes it, and it's and just not a concern. You know? Right, there's no fear of like, oh, but what is our, one of our supporters going to think about that? Yeah. You know, we don't have to think Are we going to be that? able to get another one like that? Or, you know. Right. You know, buds, they don't, they don't care. We could just, if we wanted to, we could just completely trash some gun and, Maybe they won't sell as many of that specific gun, but they don't care. They'll sell other guns. People will just not buy that gun and buy a different gun, so they don't they don't care. You know? and, and they want to know if a gun is bad. Or not. Right. I think as, as Rex, one of the owners said, uh, I think we maybe he was on that podcast with us up in Lexington. Yeah. I don't know that, that one of the reasons they they uh, support us is because of the honest approach, you know, and uh, they value that, and, and we value their attitude and, and everybody's attitude that that supports us. Anyway. They don't dwell that too long. I mean, a lot of people hate the fact. Some people, probably very few watching this, uh, think we're what, what are the words, John? Shills, or uh, because we have someone who supports us. Oh or, yeah, and then they watch or, their favorite TV show. Sell out, sell out. That's yeah. They watch their favorite TV show and they see ads and they don't even think anything about it. And it's, it's, that's it's right. Crazy. Tom Selleck's a sellout. What's that insurance commercial he? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. It's you know, and YouTube is a free platform to watch. You know, so, I mean. Think about it. Netflix, um, HBO, you know, they don't have ads. Why? Because you got to pay to watch it. Yeah. You know, if it's free, then there's got to be, you know. <laughs> it's really not a free lunch. It's yeah, there's got to be some way to support what you're doing, you know. Yeah. So, But, uh, boy, what I always is, it's funny, too, the, 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 the very few, uh, some of whom are just trolls, but the very few who do complain about some of that or the very same people, if they had the... Uh, the opportunity that uh, right. to have some support that their channel would look like a NASCAR ad probably. Yeah, uh, exactly. It'd, it'd be the uh, the Home Depot gong and these plates would be the the Lowe's gong and the, the Walgreens cowboy. <laughs> right. You know, football is getting about that bad. Uh, Ten Outdoors Nine. Ah. I went to a gun show Saturday up in uh, Madisonville and we were talking about that how how he's getting annoyed by football and he likes football I think but. You know, it's it's not the it's not the uh, first down anymore. It's the, the Home Depot <laughs> first down, and it's the it's the uh, whatever the Walgreens field goal. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's funny. I told you, yeah, it be, won't be long for every goal, every line. It'll be yeah. the the, the uh, what do you say the uh, trying to run out of company. It'd be the Exxon thirty six yard yeah. line. You know, <laughs> oh, he's almost to the. To the to the marathon thirty seven yard yeah. line now. <laughs> That's right. They'd be like themed. They'd be like, oh, it looks like we have another Terminex interception. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's well, about that bad? So we need to do that. See every bullet we fire in a video. <laughs> yeah. This is the the, the Terminex fifth round <laughs> we we're firing. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, really. But uh, <laughs> the new Asian cuisine gong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. The. Okay, we're doing the Wendy's Reload now. <laughs> we're yeah. going to come up some clever. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Okay, well, I seem like there was something else that we were going to yak at them about. Uh, we haven't been together in a podcast for a while, or a uh, B-log, whatever yeah. this is. Uh, but well, like uh, I did say, uh, be aware. I, it, it's funny, I, I posted one, and I think on Facebook. Like, for example, like uh, YouTube is tightening up on on videos in terms of whether it's suitable for ads or not and uh it kind of in an extreme way even if it's not even if they're not demonetizing you know a lot of things are uh, essentially demonetized like uh and i've shared a little bit of this but, but for example the pumpkin carving this year you know it's yeah. it's unsuitable for most advertisers right. now oh you know? so <laughs> it's what's funny yeah. you know and i could i could name 10 different videos like that where they're essentially demonetized, you know, limited uh, ads or no ads is what they call it, you know. And yep. it's just videos like some random, I think the Model 12 shotgun, pump shotgun. I just got another email on it yesterday. It's the same. So it's just like every day there's another couple right. of videos like that. So. And, I was, uh, one thing, uh, one point I would like to make again that we made before that's, that I feel like is important, you know, because we get a lot of comments and questions, you know, things to the effect of, you know, like, why don't you go off of YouTube? Why don't you do this? Yeah. Or you know, why don't you be on full 30, which we are on full 30, and different things like that. And the thing is, um, unfortunately, or, or fortunately, I don't know, depends on how you look at it, you know, YouTube, Facebook, these big, you know, Instagram, these big social media sites are kind of a monopoly, uh, YouTube specifically. 
Um, if we go in one of these other places, you know, we're not going to have, we're going to have like the smallest fraction of a reach, which affects two important things. One, our ability to do this as, a, as doing, an income, yeah. to have a livelihood, uh, to be able to do this. And the second one is, uh, if, every, if that's the case for everyone, then there's no longer mainstream exposure to guns, which is a, that's a problem, yeah. you know. So that's yeah. why it's important to stay, because, you know, some people think like, well, why would you stay on this, you know, liberal YouTube and they hate guns and all this kind of stuff. It's like, well, you know, they, they, they want us to leave. We don't, yeah. we don't want to leave. You know, we want to stay there so that we can, yeah. we can be, what was that term I used earlier? The main, mainstream main, size? Mainstream, it, uh, mainstream. I don't remember how to watch the video, but you get yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You used a different form of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause a lot of you wouldn't even know about us if it weren't for YouTube. That's right. simple. If we were just on full 30, you wouldn't, you know, you would, if you're searching for a Glock 19 or something, it wouldn't have shown up probably, you know, so that's the reason we want to stay there as long as we can. Okay. Right. Yeah. If we're yeah. just on VHS and even if it pays nothing, it is no, we, we want to stay there and uh, just because that's where everybody is, you know. Yeah. If we were only on VHS, who do you think would probably still watch? Yeah. <laughs> really? Can you think of a certain state maybe that would still watch if we were on VHS only? Oh, yeah. Kentucky. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't think that never occurred to me. Uh, but uh, if we do, if we did have to leave, we would expect every single one of you to follow us wherever it is, and we would let you know through Facebook, uh, Full Thirty, wherever. We would let you know where we are, so we're not going away. We've got over sixteen hundred videos. They are going to be somewhere. Right. Right now, they're here and they're on Full Thirty, and we want to always have two platforms uh, where all our videos are, are housed and uh, whatever those two platforms are. Right. And there's lots of them out there, and I know we'll get, every day get, why don't you go to, U uh, what's it called, uh, uh, Utah Exchange, you know, or, or, or many of the others, and that's the reason, you know. Right. Uh, another thing, too, that would be good to address is I see comments, um, I've had people tell me, even in person, hey, you guys still do videos? You guys still make videos? <laughs> No, we quit about five years ago. And we've been posting got consistently, tired of doing that. you know, three times a week for how long? You yeah. know, years and years. Um, so I don't know what that's about. People aren't getting notified if they're subscribed or whatever. But the best thing to do, if you, if the thought for some reason ever enters your mind, if maybe there aren't new Hickok 45 videos, go to the Hickok 45 channel page and look at the recent <laughs> uploads. You know, that's yep. your best bet. Uh, before asking those kind of questions. Um, so. Yeah, we haven't missed a beat. Uh, <laughs> now what is it? It, it? A lot of people are getting unsubscribed. They say, just just resubscribe or click, what do you do? Yeah. You click on the bell twice or something to make sure you yeah, get Yeah, you can click on the bell. That yeah. helps, I think. I mean, I've never, you know, the channels I subscribe to, I subscribe to whatever, 10 or 15, you know, some of them guns, some of them not. And, you know, I've never noticed that. Yeah, I've yeah. Never, never noticed that. Like, like, there's been a couple times where, you know, a certain channel I subscribe to, like I haven't seen a video in a while, and I go, and sure enough, they hadn't posted one in a while. So yeah. I mean, I've, I've never run, had that problem. Um, so I don't know. I'm not sure what that's about, but yeah, that's the thing. We're we're consistently posting every week and always have. And, uh, yeah, so. something's wrong if you don't see. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if it goes a week and there's no Hickok 45 video, then there's something wrong. Yeah. And again, they're not. We do have these playlists from days gone by, but most things are not in the playlist. I, I can't imagine trying to keep some of the. Part of the reason we lost track of that years ago was, like, what's a military rifle? What's a not? And then should we pull some of those out and do like bolt action military? I just haven't categorized them all. Any gun that you, you're interested in do the search on our channel and, and that'll tell you whether or not it's there we even did a video on that faq 54 how to search your youtube channel and you know just uh just uh because we also get comments every day there was one i saw one this morning why don't you do a video on uh something we've done a video on yeah so yep. you know how to find them uh yeah and and uh i'm just things that are coming to mind also like um on the the patreon stuff um you know, one way that we run that is if you see a video that is over at the Gong Club range, which is, you know, up there behind where we're at now, um, then there will be a video that goes up for the Patreon 
users that we film basically just bonus material right, right just bonus material like we keep the we just keep the camera rolling it's not i mean if you're not a patreon member you're not missing out on anything too big honestly it's just basically yeah. uh, i think a couple times you shot took a couple more shots and it's basically yeah. us just kind of bsing about about stuff and you know we'll like show that wall and what it the bullet did to it afterwards you know yeah. things like that uh, but, ju but just so you know if you if you're a Patreon member and you forget to go look or something, you know, that yeah. we always do a video. Sometimes um, give a sneak preview on a video. We're going to post and some things like yeah. that. And then sometimes behind the scenes things we'll do. But we're trying to keep that in balance. If there's something that's like really valuable, we're not going to deny, you know, people yeah. the opportunity to see it, no. you know, any, any of our viewers. But right. there are people that, you know, and we don't have a complicated or complex uh Patreon over there is, you know, yeah. the buck gets you in, that kind of thing. Right. You know, if you're worried of saying something over there that you'll miss, you know. Right. We literally just put stuff over there that we figure, yeah. like, we, most people wouldn't even want to watch this, you know. Well, it's not that bad, John. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. It's not, yeah. you're, you're not missing out. Nothing to get mad about, you know, go over there and pitch in a buck or something and you'll see it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but we do, yeah. But we want to give you know people because if people ask us for years to do that, so right. we want to give them something over there different, and uh, we try to keep something over there. So anyway, yeah, we probably this video's gotten pretty long. I know so. we have. We should probably wrap it up. Uh, but, I don't think there's anything new. Yeah, but you know we're 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 excited. I, that's that's a, that's a thing. You know, like, we, again, I, I you know I don't we don't want to be like super hacky about always talking about stats and things like that, like some people do, but. You know, a billion views um, for a gun channel is a big deal to us. Um, you know, we're, we're really excited about it and, and humbled by it. Because again, like I said, it wasn't us. We didn't we didn't create a billion views. Like you guys literally clicked on our videos that many times, uh, which is insane. And um, but we're just you know, but we're kind of proud of it at the same time. Yeah, so. and we don't do anything that's slick, as you know. We just you know, shoot guns and uh, talk about them and, and enjoy them and. Uh, you know, you guys come and watch, so we're glad you've done it a billion times. Yep. Wow. Okay. Enough about it. I don't even know what a billion is. And, uh, I don't either. I know, I know, <laughs> uh, you know, McDonald's does, but, you know, I don't know what a billion yeah. is. Yeah. I know there's, how many people are there in the in the world? Uh, a lot. There's uh, like, what, is it 7 billion something, now? Uh, something like that. I ain't counted recently, but. So over 10% of the world population, if only one person watched our video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. But, but yeah, we appreciate y'all watching. And we, again, we just want to commemorate the, the occasion. Probably the last time we'll do this sort of thing. But uh, yeah, billions of billion, you know, give or take a million. Right? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we appreciate you guys. We can't say that enough. Really yeah. Do. Yeah. We do. I, I think part of the reason we're doing it, we're, we're still... I, I know I'm still perplexed that that people even came to watch it in any kind of numbers more than five or six. You know, right. in the very beginning. That that's the that's what makes it kind of strange and, and, and perplexing. You know, yeah. Much less starting to grow in bigger numbers. And so anyway, we thought we'd commemorate the event with a fine cigar and uh, yeah. and we're gonna do a video here in a minute. It's probably one you will have the opportunity to yeah. see. And no, they aren't Cubans. Someone is going to ask that. Multiple people are going to ask that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they aren't Cubans. Yeah, they're Dominicans. Yeah. But they're good Dominicans. Yeah. Zeno Platinums. So, we'll say goodbye and let you go because we've held you long enough. Life is good.